I think the feeling of road trips for me is some type of have your surroundings to yourself. And it's always this feeling of freedom. You know, after we came out of the mountains, it was still really beautiful, but it didn't seem to be special. I just wanted to stay farther north. At that point, I was kind of ready to, to get to the city. So we made it to Vancouver now. It's seen 3,000 miles at this point, so we're about two-thirds of the way through the trip. Yeah, the odometer turned, turned 50,000. I think sometimes people forget that not only is Mercedes a luxury car, but they're really durable and tough on back roads and dirt roads, and you'd be surprised where these cars can go. You can see that we've, we've picked up a lot of bugs and, and road debris on the front of the car, so it's probably good that we use the, the protective film. Yeah, once we get back to LA and start the restoration on it, it'll be about five or six weeks and the car will be like new. In Vancouver, we picked up our friend Ben. And in Seattle, we picked up our friend Eugene. Pretty cool having them along. Like, we're finally back in civilization. It's been kind of awesome since they joined the, joined the road trip. I wish we had more time. I mean, I guess it's that way everywhere we go. It's, no matter how much time we, we spend, I always wish I had more time. After driving all the way through Alaska and all the way through Canada, Seattle to LA just seems like a short trip. The big challenge is behind us. Yeah, so we're in Seattle now. Uh, the car is pretty dirty after 3,000 miles. It's, it's filthy, actually. It had a lot of dirt and mud and diesel fumes, so we're gonna clean it up and do the last leg. We got about 1,000 miles to go. So we've come a long way, and even though we're finished with this trip, I assume there's another new adventure right around the corner that probably be bigger and better than before. But it's been really awesome. It's been a good drive. Yeah.